Good morning. I am Dr. E. Srinivasa, working as an assistant professor of physics at IDSG Government College, Chikmagalur. In this video, I am going to explain some types of scintillators used in the scintillation counter, which is a concept in a nuclear detector, which is a chapter in the third VSC physics students studying in 6th sem in paper 8. The name of the paper is Nuclear and Particle Physics and this is the video for session number 11. So types of scintillators. Dear students we know that scintillators are the kinds of materials that provide detectable photons in the visible part of the light spectrum. So there are different kinds of the scintillators. They are organic uh, scintillators or organic crystals, inorganic scintillators or inorganic crystals, organic liquid, plastic scintillators and also gaseous scintillators. We will study one by one. So what are inorganic scintillators? Inorganic scintillators are usually crystals grown in high temperature furnaces. They include lithium iodide, sodium iodide, cesium iodide and zinc sulphide. The most widely used scintillation material is thallium activated sodium iodide crystal that is thallium doped sodium iodide. The iodine provides most of the stopping power in sodium iodide since it has a high atomic number Z is equal to 53. These crystalline scintillators are characterized by high density, high atomic number and pulse decay times of approximately 1 microsecond that is 10 to the power of minus 6 second. So the most widely used scintillation material I mean inorganic scintillator is the thallium doped sodium iodide crystal. The second one is inorganic scintillators. Scintillation in inorganic scintillate uh, inorganic crystals is typically slower than in organic ones. They exhibit high efficiency for detection of gamma rays and are capable of adding high count rates. Inorganic crystals can be cut to, to small sizes and arranged in an array configuration so as to provide position sensitivity. This feature is widely used in medical imaging to detect X-rays or gamma rays. So these inorganic crystals or scintillators are widely used in medical imaging or to detect X-rays or gamma rays. Inorganic scintillators are better at detecting gamma rays and X-rays than organic scintillators. This is due to their high density and atomic number which gives a high electron density. A disadvantage of, of some inorganic crystals, example sodium iodide crystal is their hygroscopicity, a property which requires them to be housed in an airtight container to protect from moisture. So sodium iodide crystal, this type of scintillators contain single crystal of sodium iodide. These are used to detect low energy gamma rays. Even though scintillation detectors like sodium iodide and doped with the tallium have excellent linearity and higher efficiency for the detection of gamma rays, the major drawback of these detectors is that they have poor energy resolution. So poor energy resolution is the major drawback of sodium iodide crystal which is activated uh, doped with tallium. This is because the energy required to produce 
information carriers in these detectors is very high of the order of 300 electron volts. So next one is organic scintillators. Organic scintillators are kind of organic materials that provide detectable photons in the visible part of the light spectrum following the passage of charged particle or a photon. Organic scintillators are kind of organic materials that provide detectable photons in the visible part of the light spectrum following the passage of a charged particle or photon. The scintillation mechanism in organic material is quite different from the mechanism in inorganic crystals. In inorganic scintillators, example sodium iodide crystal, cesium iodide crystal, the scintillation arises because of the structure of the crystal lattice. The fluorescence mechanism in organic material arises from transition in the energy levels of a single molecule and therefore the fluorescence can be observed independently of the physical state like vapor, liquid or solid. In general, organic scintillators have a fast decay times typically of the order of 10 power minus 8 second while in inorganic crystals are usually far slower. It is of the order of microsecond that is 10 power minus 6 second. Although some also have fast components in their response. There are three types of organic scintillators. Pure organic crystals include crystals of anthracene and also naphthalene. The decay time of this type of phosphor is approximately 10 nanosecond. This type of crystal is frequently used in the detection of beta particles. That means organic materials like anthracene is used for detection of beta particles. Anthracene gives the highest yield of 15 photons for a 1000 electron volt beta particle. They are very durable but their response is anisotropic which false energy resolution when the source is not collimated and they cannot be easily machined nor can they be grown in larger sizes. Therefore, they are not very often used. Next one is liquid organic solutions or liquid scintillators. Liquid organic solutions are produced by dissolving an organic scintillator in a solvent. Liquid, liquid organic solutions are produced by dissolving an organic scintillator in a solvent. The liquid scintillator has a solvent like toluene and xylene in which is added a small percentage of D-phenyl D-phenyl or hexazole or terphenyl as solute. The radiation energy is absorbed by the solvent and transferred to the solute which emit the light. In these cases, the radiation energy is absorbed by the solvent and transferred to the solute which emit the light. Next one is plastic scintillators. Plastic phosphors are made by adding scintillation chemicals to a plastic matrix. Plastic phosphors are made by adding scintillation chemicals to a plasmic, uh, plastic matrix. Plastic scintillators are specially prepared transparent plastic materials cut to the desired shape and size are used in high energy physics. The decay constant is the shortest of the three phosphor types approaching 1 or 2 nanosecond. Plastic scintillators are therefore more appropriate for use in high flux environments and in high dose rate measurements. These plastic scintillators are therefore more appropriate for use in high flux environments 
and high in high dose rate measurements because of their uh, decay constants shortest of the order of 1 or 2 nanosecond the plastic has a high hydrogen content therefore it is useful for fast neutron detectors it takes substantially more energy to produce a detectable photon in a scintillator than an electron ir pair through ionization typically by a factor of 10 and because inorganic scintillators produce more high more light than organic scintillators they are consequently better for applications at low energies so zinc sulfide you are already know that zns it is extremely used for detection of those have short range like alpha particles zinc sulfide is extremely used for detection of those have short range like alpha particles also the last one is gases or uh, can be used as scintillators for counting of heavy charged particles in the presence of gamma rays zn is used as a phosphor which emits radiation in ultraviolet region so advanced detectors so we are already studied about the different uh, detectors like uh, gm counter scintillation counters etc etc so the advanced detectors are to overcome the poor resolution of scintillation detectors solid state semiconductor detectors such as germanium doped lithium and silicon doped lithium detectors were developed however lithium doped germanium detectors also have some drawbacks the major handicap of lithium doped germanium detector is that spatial distribution is not possible at room temperature therefore to safeguard the inherent property of the detector it has to be maintained at liquid nitrogen temperature all the time this is very difficult to overcome this difficulty high purity germanium that is hpge detectors was developed in addition hpge have a advantage that they can be stored at room temperature liquid nitrogen cooling is required only when the detectors are in use these are the advanced don't advanced detectors now hpg is uh, mainly used to detect low energy gamma rays i mean uh, uh, hpg is mainly now used to detect radium thorium and potassium in soil rocks soil rocks and in building materials so these are the references i have used to make the ppt and also this video thank you for watching thank you once again